Today we're going to work on a really cool science experiment. We're going to make homemade petri plates so that we can test microorganisms. Did you know that microorganisms live on every surface in your home and school? Well, we're going to start by making a microbial growth medium. First, you need to have several clear containers. The containers need to be labeled on the bottom, and you always want to have a control. Next, we have our ingredients. We need one cup of water, one and a half packages of gelatin, one bouillon cube, and two teaspoons of sugar. You'll take these ingredients, and we're going to mix them all together in the pan, and then we'll need to bring this to a boil. You want to bring this to a full boil, stirring constantly. Once it's come to a full boil, then you need to turn it off and set it to the side and let it cool for about 15 minutes before you pour it into the containers. And make sure that the containers that you use can accept hot liquids. Okay, we've let our mixture cool for about 15 minutes. Now we want to carefully pour it into each container. Poured all the mixture into the containers, you want to place a lid on the top of each container just loosely until the mixture completely cools. The gelatin in the mix is going to uh, cause the mixture to harden up. And once this is hardened, you can store it in the refrigerator, but it needs to be used within two to three days. If you had any condensation in the cups while they were cooling, you can just gently shake that out. But remember, you do not want to uh, try to dry it out with a paper towel or touch it because then you'll contaminate the solution. All right, the first thing we're going to test is going to be the iPhone. So you want to get a clean Q-tip and then we're just going to take our Q-tip and gently rub all around. And then we'll take this in the container that's labeled iPhone, and you'll just gently rub that across the top. Then you'll securely put the lid back on, and we'll go on to the next the TV remote. So again, you want to get a clean Q-tip, and we're going to gently rub across the TV remote. And you want to double check the container that's labeled TV remote, and then we're going to rub this across the solution. And again, you want to securely put the lid back on. And next, we have the kitchen sink. So again, get a brand new clean Q-tip. Probably back here in the back where it's probably less likely to be clean. Then you want to double check the container labeled kitchen sink and again rub the Q-tip on the solution. And we'll go on to the next one, which would be the countertop. Again, start with a brand new clean Q-tip. And the last one is the toilet. Okay, we have all of our surfaces tested and placed into the Petri dishes. Now remember, we have one Petri dish that's labeled control. And this is to make sure that we've done the experiment correctly, because there shouldn't be any growth on this whatsoever. Okay, we're going to let our Petri dishes sit for a few days, and we'll check in on them periodically. We'll record our findings in our science journal, and we'll record how long they've been sitting and what kind of growth we have found. After 24 hours in the petri dish, we have no microbial growth, so we will chart this in our science journal. After 48 hours, our petri plates are starting to show some signs of microbial growth. We will continue to chart this in our science journal, and we will place the lids back on. After day three, 
our petri plates are starting to show some changes in microbial growth. Our first, the control, has nothing growing on the plate. Our next one, the iPhone, has very minimal growth on it. Our third one, the TV remote, as you can see, is circular and raised with a white to grayish coloration. Next is the kitchen sink, and again, it is raised, circular, and less coloration. This is more clear, and it seems like some of the elevation has burst and the liquid is starting to pour out somewhat. Next, we have the countertop, and as you can see, this is a raised filament type growth. And last, we have the toilet and there's a couple of spots on here. One is circular and one is more oval and they are both raised with a whitish to gray coloration. After three days of observing and documenting our findings in our science journal, we now have enough information to analyze our microbial growth. Next, we need to go to sciencebuddies.org. In the search box, we need to type interpreting plates And here we can interpret the form, elevation, margins, and coloration of the colonies to determine the type of growth.